Hi everyone and welcome to another video from Danka Praktik. In this video you'll see how to make a simple and nice snack from bread dough. They're called bread nippings and they're good as a snack but also as a replacement for bread. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik. In this video we've used a wood burning stove for cooking. If you're interested in seeing and learning how to use a wood burning stove, we would recommend to watch our series of videos on this topic. Click on the link in the corner to watch the first video. Links for the other videos are in the description. Bread nippings are made from usual bread dough. The origin of nippings comes from a time when bread was baked at home frequently. In a practical manner, parts of the same bread dough were used to make a tasty meal until the bread was baked. The dough was nipped, hence the name bread nippings. This is one more reason that it's sort of a custom to make them at the same time bread is baked as it's pretty convenient. Of course it can be made separately. The dough used for making nippings is the same as bread dough. If you don't know how to make bread dough, we suggest you take a look at our other video where we show how to make homemade bread from the beginning to the end. There you have the recipe and the whole procedure for making the dough. Click on the card in the corner of the video to see it. So once the dough is prepared, leave it to rise. If you want to speed up the rising of the dough, put some hot water in another pot and put it under the bread bowl. It will make the rising faster. It should take about 15 minutes for it to rise this way. Regarding dishes, prepare a bigger frying pan. You can use a smaller one, it won't do any harm, but with a bigger pan there will be more space for flipping and makes the whole job easier. For flipping you can use whatever is convenient for you, for instance you can use a spatula or grabber. In this case we're just using a simple fork. For frying the bread nippings you can use vegetable oil or lard, it's your choice. Both are equally effective and use what's more convenient for you. You won't need much of it, it all depends on how much nippings you're going to make. Once the dough has risen enough, apply a thin film of cooking oil on the dough so it's easier to manage. Then start nipping the dough. Pinch a medium sized lump and spread it into a kind of pancake. Best leave the nipping on the side of the bowl. Make only as much as it can fit into the frying pan. If you make all of them immediately, the dough will dry up which isn't good. While you're doing that, put the frying pan on the stove and add some cooking oil or lard and let it heat up. Add enough to fully cover the bottom of the frying pan. If you're using an electric stove, best use a near maximum setting. For instance, on a scale of 1 to 3, use 2.5. This is important as if it's not hot enough, the nippings will stay raw and soak in all the oil. If it's too hot, then it will burn and the nippings will be too hard to eat. The point is, is to have enough heat to make a quick but thorough fry. So once everything is all nice and heated up, lay the nippings inside the pan. Leave them on one side for a couple of minutes and then flip. As you'll see, they'll start blowing up and getting color. It's done when the nippings get a sort of golden color. Besides this, a touch of yellow and brown color will appear in places where the nipping lays directly on the frying pan. While you're frying, add oil if needed, it's important that the bottom of the frying pan is always covered. The end result should be a nipping that is well done, easy to chew and tear and when eating resembles bread but is a bit more tasty and moisty. So as you've seen, bread nippings are very simple to make. On average you can make a dozen of them in less than 15 minutes. They can be served with all kinds of food, 
For instance, they can be served both with sausage, eggs, cheese, salami and else, but also with jam and cream. They can be served as a main dish, side dish or even served without anything. Also, it's a good idea for a school breakfast if you prepare meals for your kids to take to school. One more custom is to eat the nippings with your hands, at least in our opinion, the experience that way is more complete. In any case, with bread nippings you'll get a quick, decent meal for a relatively small amount of groceries and invested time. So that's it for this time, we hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.